and welcome to the studio. We're going to go down the pathway. The studio is attached to the house. And as we go down the path, we're going to enter the studio porch. And you'll notice that one pup, Maggie's inside. And there's Scott, one of my pups, one of my border collies. And this is how uh, we work, get to the porch. A nice bench, flowers out there. It's August, so you know, flowers aren't doing as well as uh, they were in the spring, but there's still a few out there. And this is the entryway into the uh, studio. We have two sliders, and I'm going to move over here, open the slider, and this is what you would see if you open the door. Basically, a nice sweep of the studio. And then I'm going to take you on to a tour of different looms and what's happening today in August 2022. All right, let's take a look at some of the yarn. I used to have all this yarn up in the loft area. Finally, I've been able to move it down. So this would be where I would call my winding station. I put my cones on the floor, or uh, sometimes I put a skein on a yarn winder also. Then we have some books, we have some yarn, more yarn that hasn't been dyed yet. And then sometimes I use some of the yarn on the bottom to uh, weave with the hand dyed yarn. And there's a little bit more yarn. And over here is Willow. She's kind of leaning a little bit. Uh, just have draped some fabric on, that's some bamboo. And then this is my little sewing area with my serger. I'm getting ready to sew some placemats, the uh, hems on all the placemats. Have all sorts of bags hanging there with different projects in them. And then over here is another smaller warping mill and a few of the items that I have uh, for sale on my shop. And some of them are going to be going off to another store for them, or maybe they'll be headed to the uh, craft show. Uh, there is a door there to come in. We have another little winding station over here. And then, yes, there's some more yarn. I have a few of the towels and things that I've been working on. No, I did not make that wall hanging in the back. That was purchased in Santa Fe, probably hmm, 1998 or so. Now here's one of the looms that I'm working on right now. This is the one that's keeping me pretty busy, weaving all different kinds of critters. Of course, the bees are on there now. And I'm very low tech in keeping records or treadling, I should say. So if you see the post-its there, those are different treadling that I need to do for the sheep, the bunnies, the bees. But what I have to also do is often crawl under the loom and change all those cords. Then I can do the next uh, animal, or I could do snowflakes, trees, and other things too. Now another loom we have, sweep up. Over there in the, that big thing is my big warping mill. And I do have a recording on how I use that. Another loom I have is my spring loom. Happens to have 12 shafts, but I've mostly used the eight. Right now I have some tencel on it, working on shawl coats, ponchos, shawls, and basically some fabric. I'm almost finished. I do, it's basically a neutral warp this time with grays and blacks, and I've done woven blues and purples and grays, and now I'm kind of on a mauve, mauve kind of pink. Almost finished with that, and that is, I believe, 8 2 10 cell set at 20 ends per inch. And then the other loom that I'm working on, setting up right now, is another baby wolf loom. This one is four shaft, the other one was eight. This is a hand-dyed warp. It happens to be wool, and mohair is what this is. I'm getting ready to set it up. I have not woven or hand dyed any warps made out of wool or any basically animal fiber for a long time. So I'm getting ready to do this one. And then I looked up on the shelf 
to find something that would go with it, and I couldn't find anything. So yes, I had to go and order more yarn. Darn it. And then the last area over here is an area that I use to mostly do my um, photography close-ups of some of the items that I uh, am selling. And then the last part are some of, I call them warps and waiting. <laughs> They're waiting to go on a loom. We have one that hasn't been dyed. Ah, the green and purple is bamboo. Then we have some purple and kind of a pink color. Those will be towels. And then the next one that's purple, kind of a peacock color, Those that's gonna be a kit, samples uh, for some placemats. And then the other one, it's basically going to be some towels. So you have a little bit of uh, idea or a little bit of a view of the studio. And let's take an one last sweep here from this angle. And you have an idea of the working space that I get to experience. And you're welcome to come to visit. You just have to uh, send me a message ahead of time. Make sure I'm home. And again, we'd be happy to invite you in and chat and talk fiber.